Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I've been using my Ledger Stacks to secure my cryptocurrency wallet for almost a year now, and I couldn't be happier. But a lot of you may not be aware that there is an app available on the Ledger Stacks and Flex called the Security Key app. It's right here. Now the Security Key app allows the Ledger Stacks or the Ledger Flex to function as a hardware pass key. Uh, what that means is if you want to secure your online accounts, like your cryptocurrency exchanges, you can add a hardware pass key so that the only way to log in or make withdrawals is by connecting your key and authorizing the transaction. It's a great way to keep your online accounts as safe and secure as your crypto wallet. So I'm going to show you how it works on my machine and then I will show you how to get it added to your online accounts to add an impenetrable layer of security so that you will not fall victim to phishing attacks or outside hacks. So let's get started. So the first thing I'll demonstrate is my login to Kraken using my Ledger Stacks as my hardware passkey. So you can see here I'm on the Kraken login screen. All right, so the default is use passkey because I have this set up. So I'll click use passkey. And then uh, in Windows, I choose security key and then hit next. Now, before I hit next, I'm going to uh, show you what's going on on my device here. Now, uh, interestingly, uh, Kraken will automatically launch the security key app. So I could be in the security key app when I'm doing this, or I could be at the home screen. So I'll go ahead and hit next. And notice how it automatically launches security key. And then it uh, lets me know that I'm attempting to log into my Kraken account. And then I'll just tap the login button here. And then it signs the request. And then I log into my Kraken account. So no one can log into my Kraken account because the only way is with this specific device that I'm holding in my hand. What also makes this device uh, especially secure as uh, a hardware passkey is that it's not functional unless I have entered the PIN. So even if a family member or a roommate were to try to log into my Kraken using my device, they wouldn't be able to because they would need to enter the PIN, which they don't know. Only I know the PIN. So it's something I know and something I have, along with my username and password. So it, it really locks down your account very well, safe and secure. Now let me show you how it works in Coinbase when I try to make a withdrawal. So watch me when I make a withdrawal from my Coinbase account. Uh, I'm going to withdraw to my ledger, so uh, I'll get my ledger live going. All right, so I'm in my Bitcoin account here, and the first thing I'll do is uh, verify my account using my Stacks device. So my Stacks device is the hardware key for this particular wallet. I'll hit receive and I'll hit continue. And then notice here that the stacks will ask me to open my Bitcoin account, my Bitcoin app. I'll hit open. All right, it launches the Bitcoin app and then it's going to verify that Bitcoin address on my hardware, right? So if we look over at my computer screen, it's showing me the address. I'll copy it into my clipboard so I can give it to Coinbase and I can verify that that is the same address showing on my screen. And now I'll go back over to Coinbase. All right, and I'm going to withdraw to that address on the Bitcoin network. I'll just send it all, it's just a small test amount. We'll hit send, and then uh, I'm going to choose my security key, and then I'll hit next. Before I hit next, I'll show you what's going on on the device. I do need to get out of the Bitcoin app when I do this. All right, I'll hit next on Coinbase. It launches my security key app. 
And then it shows me that I'm logged into Coinbase and that it wants me to authorize a transaction. I'll hit log in here. And then we'll go back to Coinbase and my withdrawal is confirmed, right? So it's quite amazing that we have a device here that not only uh, can create and manage uh, crypto wallets, but it can also be used to lock down your online accounts. Now, this works uh, on any kind of online account that supports hardware pass keys. So you could use it to lock down your Gmail account, uh, your Microsoft account, uh, or any type of online account that supports hardware pass keys. Uh, really an amazing little device and an amazing little app here. So I'm going to show you how to get it set up, uh, and I'll show you on my Ledger Flex, uh, because the Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex both support this hardware, this security key app. Um, it, it's also supported on the Ledger Nano X and Ledger Nano S Plus as well. All right, so if you're doing this for the first time, you'll just connect your device and go into your Ledger Live. And you wanna go down to the My Ledger section, and then uh, you'll search for the Security Key app. All right, and there it is. We'll just hit Install. Then uh, you can see over here on the device that it's installing the app. And there you go. Okay, so now that I have the security key app installed on my Ledger Flex, let's go back over to Kraken. And we wanna go into our settings. So we'll go up here to the account icon. We'll go down to security. And then in uh, two factor, we wanna add an additional pass key. So I'll leave the uh, stacks on there already as it is. And I'll choose add pass key. We'll say uh, use pass key. And then we'll go to security key and we'll hit next. Before I can add a new security key, I actually have to re-authenticate myself with my existing one. So uh, let's do that first. I'm gonna go back to my stacks. All right, and uh, I'll go ahead and log in here. And now that I'm logged in, it's going to let me add that new pass key. So I'll uh, disconnect this one since I'm already logged in. I'll go back and I'll log in using my Flex. All right, and I'll go ahead and add pass key here. Okay, so it's offering to let me use Windows Hello. Uh, I don't wanna do that. I wanna use my uh, Ledger Flex. So I'm gonna say use other device and then I'll go to security key Right, we'll, we'll choose next. There's a couple of extra screens here. I'll click OK, uh, and there we go. All right, now uh, we're gonna register this hardware device with my Kraken account, right, and then Kraken says uh, pass key saved. So now I have two different pass keys. Um, I can use them interchangeably. I only need one to get into the account. So as long as I have either one of them with me, uh, I have full access to the account. This would be maybe if I lost one or uh, wanted to travel and maybe keep one at home and have one with me. So as you can see here, now I have two different pass keys attached to this account. Let me show you how this works in uh, Coinbase as well. Uh, from Coinbase, we'll go up here to the account interface. Uh, we'll go to settings. From settings, we'll go to accounts. And then uh, from accounts, we'll go to security and to step. Um, we're gonna add one more pass key. Now remember, in order to do this, because this is a highly secure operation, I do need to re-authenticate with my existing pass key. So I'll go ahead and disconnect this uh, flex and reconnect my original stacks. And I'll say, I wanna add a new device. I'll continue. And then it wants to confirm my existing pass key. So I'll hit security key and then I'll hit next. Before I do that, I'll show you what's going on here. I'll hit next, right? It wants me to confirm that I am indeed the holder of the secure device that allows security settings to be changed. We'll hit that. Now it's logged in. Um, and once again, uh, the default here is it wants to add my Windows Hello. I don't want to do that. 
So I've connected my flex now. Go ahead and enter the pin. All right, I've got the security key app open. And then uh, instead of using Windows Hello, I'll say use another device. I'll choose security key. And before I hit next, let me show you what's happening here. I'll hit the next. Right? And then it's telling me that I'm going to add a new security key here. I'll continue the setup and let me show what's happening on the device. All right. And now it wants me to register this new device on my account. So I hit register. And now we've added a new pass key. So if you were doing this for the first time, of course, it might ask you to authenticate uh, to get into the account using your two-factor or maybe even your Windows Hello or whatever uh, security you already had set up on your account. Or it might ask you to re-log in or add your, uh, enter your password again. Um, either way, it wants to, uh, it's going to give you a security challenge just to get into this setup so that you can add a more secure device to your account. Uh, here in Coinbase, I can rename this. <laughs> I want to rename it, but it also wants me to authorize. That's fine. I'll hit next. All right. Uh, I'll just go ahead and log myself in on my Flex. Right. And now I can name it. Right. I want to call it Ledger Flex. All right. And then I'll hit rename. And there we go. So as you can see, I've got two devices attached to my Coinbase account. Um, I could use either one, right? I don't need both to log in or make withdrawals. I just need one or the other with me. So this adds a little more flexibility and backup in case something happens to one or the other device. So that's it. Install the security key app on your device. Go to your online accounts into your security. Add a hardware pass key and then verify on your device. And you've just really made your account all that more secure. So the Ledger Stacks and the Ledger Flex are great devices, not only for managing your crypto, keeping your wallet super secure, but also locking down your online accounts, whether they're your cryptocurrency accounts or even your email accounts uh, or social media accounts. Any account that uh, supports hardware pass keys uh, can be utilized using this device. So a uh, great way to up your security game. If you have any questions about anything I said, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered.